Hello and welcome to Exchange for Media. COVID-19 has put the entire nation under a lockdown. These are indeed very difficult times, not just for us, but for many countries across the globe. The impact of such a lockdown on economy and business is inevitable. While each one of us is doing our bit, there are leaders who are strategizing to ensure that the impact on business and economy is contained to a large extent. We at Exchange for Media over the next few weeks will bring to you leaders who, will, who we believe are beating all odds to keep the momentum of the industry and the business on the move. To begin with, I have with me Mr. M.A. Parthasarthi, CEO of South Asia Manshare World. Sir, welcome to the show. My first question is, what according to you are the most important qualities a leader must display in unprecedented times like the present? I would think that uh, the most important thing is uh, is being humane. I mean, people are going through a lot. Uh, our employees are, uh, it's, it's a situation which has never happened before. So the first and most important thing is to see each employee first as a human being and, and as a colleague and as someone who's going through uh, difficult times and, and yet trying to do a lot for, uh, for the clients and for the company. So I think, uh, I think that's the most important uh, aspect. And apart from that, I think it's the best time to actually lead by example. You know, don't expect anything from anyone which you wouldn't do yourself. And I think that's very important uh, as, a, as a quality. And then finally, I think it requires a tremendous amount of energy and stamina because it is not easy uh, doing what you do, whether it's because of the uncertainty, because you're cooped up in the house, you don't have the camaraderie of uh, you know, your colleagues. Can so you to overcome louder? all this, you need to have a... So if you get yeah, to louder. overcome all of this. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Is that better? Yeah. Okay, so I think uh, what I was saying is that the third and perhaps most important one is also that you have to have a lot of energy and display a lot of energy and stamina because things keep changing. You have to keep uh, altering and for all of that, you need to be strong and energetic, both in body and mind. So I think these three, humanity... How are you keeping by... the morale? Sorry, how are you keeping the morale of your employees high? So... I don't think it is just me. I think I think there's a lot of spontaneous initiatives which people in the company have done. And I'm grateful to them because uh, this has shown up that there's a whole bunch of leaders in our company and each of them have shown initiatives. I'll give you some examples. You know, we had something called the Purple Throne where everyone had to post a picture because, you know, Mindshare is purple, right? So everyone had to post a picture of how, they're, how they've done up their workplace at home. And, uh, you know, we got, we got close to 100 responses with like some really cool workstations that you could never have had in the office. Then there are people who are conducting yoga classes. Uh, there are happy hours meetings where we, uh, you know, just chat about anything and everything. Uh, there, there's a lot of uh, stimulation for the brain, the, the quiz contest. There's lots of things happening which are keeping people engaged. And the great thing is I don't have to do it, you know. People are spontaneously coming up with these ideas and that's that's just uh, great. I think the most important is as long as you have constant communication, people will be motivated. What this crisis has especially taught us today is the interdependence of businesses and people from all walks of life. Do you think this is perhaps the most important management lesson we need to hold on to once we emerge out of this crisis? You know, there are lots of lessons which we will take out of this crisis. And I think it will transform the way we work even after we come out of this crisis, right? A lot of things will change for the good and, and for this thing. I'll, I'll give you a simple example. Someone told me, and I hadn't realized this, that when you talk on the phone, you end up being a lot more curt and abrupt uh, and to the, to the point, right? Then when you are meeting someone face to face. So very often that can sound quite rude and it can sound, uh, uh, you know, that you are a bit uncaring. So just this simple task of how do you communicate on the phone, uh, I think is going to cha change uh, after, after this crisis. And people are going to be a lot more empathetic uh, and, uh, you know, and, and do that in a much better way. 
um, so I think absolutely deep understand appreciation of people, uh, you know, the importance of communication of empathy, and I think prompt and meaningful responses, right? Because it's not that I can walk across to someone's table and chat. So if I get a mail, if I get a WhatsApp, if I don't respond within an hour, it means either I don't care about that or, you know, uh, I'm, I'm deliberately ignoring. So you have to be doubly careful in terms of responding fast, whether it's to Has mails, it increased WhatsApp. the productivity? Is there increase in productivity? Uh, I think I think it's a bit too early to say whether it's increased productivity because it's also a time when the kind of work we are doing is very different from the kind of work we do in normal times, right? Today, what am I doing? I'm doing probably five different scenarios and war gaming and things like that rather than actually building and executing plans. Uh, so, so it's it's a different kind of work. So, uh, productivity we will know I think uh, maybe after a month or two uh, to see what the difference has been in productivity. But I know that I've been far more busy now than I was when I used to go to office because there's. Does that also it's, include it's household like household chores? <laughs> Luckily, luckily, I haven't uh, had too much of that to do. But uh, yes, for a lot of people, I know how much of their time goes into just, you know, jhadu pocha bhartan and uh, khana banana. So, uh, I, my, my, my full uh, uh, empathy and, uh, you know, uh, what shall I say, praise for those who are able to manage both. So, I also wanted to understand that while TV and social media consumption is high now and advertisers are still shying away from any big campaigns, how are you tackling this present crisis? What steps are you taking to ensure the brand grows stronger despite the challenges? Yeah, see, it's, it's, it's a very tricky uh, situation because you have to do a find the right balance between keeping in touch with your consumers and ensuring they don't lose the brand connect. But at the same time, if your product is not available on the shelf or if you're just unable to give the consumers the access to your product, right? And, and therefore, do you store some money in your war chest to times, uh, you know, when there is actually an opportunity for consumers to experience your product? Uh, how much do you do for that versus how much do you use to continue to keep your brand top of mind? And, and it varies from category to category. It varies from brand to brand. But what we are doing is for most of our clients, we are plotting out multiple scenarios, like I said, you know, and, and you're not trying to uh, look at uh, a lot of decision trees saying if, then, else uh, kind of planning. And more importantly, the other plan which we are doing for a lot of our clients is this recovery planning. You know, what do you do when the situation actually improves? And are we prepared for that? Uh, so, so there's a lot of introspection, a lot of uh, suggestion, and at the same time, lots of small and simple ideas uh, for brands to engage with their uh, with their consumers uh, across categories through social. Without naming through, the brand, can you can you give us any example of like how are you making the recovery plans, or what kind of advice are you giving to brands? See. Uh, See, the, the, the first advice is that there should be a recovery plan. You know, I think that's, that's the most important thing because, uh, and, and clients are doing it themselves as well, uh, right? Uh, they are also planning as to, uh, you know, if, if this thing lasts till end of April, till end of May, till end of June, in each of these situations, the recovery plan is, is different, right? So, so, so that, is the, that is the first uh, point which we, are, which we are trying to manage. The second, uh, I mean, with, without, uh, I wouldn't want to take out client examples as such, but uh, for a number of clients, we are proactively looking at suggestions on what can be done during this period yeah. uh, through small but meaningful gestures for their, uh, for their uh, consumers, right? things which will make a difference at this time uh, for them. And which uh, it's very important to not look like you're being opportunistic or taking advantage of it in any manner. So, so a lot of kind of thoughtful initiatives which consumers might appreciate uh, is what we're trying to bring to brands. Uh, unfortunately, I can't give you more uh, uh, detail because a lot of it is work, work in progress. What, as an industry expert, what advice would you want to give to youngsters who are now sitting at home 
and are trying to manage and cope with the situation i think the first thing i want to say is that this too shall pass uh, uh, and it's a, it's a it's a temporary phase i think i think it's a, it is a uh, it is a it's a test of people's uh, energy stamina and character uh, there is no one watching over your shoulder to see whether you are actually spending your time on facebook or are you spending your time on work uh, i think people have risen to the challenge beautifully and uh, i think it's proving that you know there is no need for uh, you know for genuinely skilled and uh, and motivated people there is no need for external uh, push for motivation they are coming up with some brilliant ideas and and i think it will be recognized you know people showing initiative showing energy at this time uh, will really really be appreciated it will stand out and uh, that's the only thing so keep the spirits up know fully well that this too shall pass and uh, and have fun i mean i mean it's a great learning time it's uh, you learn things which you have never learned before sitting at uh, in the office and chatting with your friends so so use the time and uh, remember the good parts uh, the good learnings from this time is the only thing which i can i can advise it is still too early but what's i mean i, I won't don't want to use the word damage but how much impact will this break have on our industry's growth i mean if, if you can give me some idea on that it's very hard to put a number to it because there is no fixed end date in sight uh, one can only learn from other markets and uh, uh, other markets let's say china has had perhaps the most remarkable recovery right even today there were graphs which were, i know for instance that our company the employees are back at which is true of most companies uh, and the market uh, at least from uh, second half of april should be going towards normalcy but that means that it has been 3 months of uh, non normalcy uh, in a market like china now will that be 3 months in india will that be more than 3 months we don't know we are hoping that we will recover as fast as uh, you know or faster than china has recovered in which case it won't be perhaps that bad i mean everyone's today's uh, prediction is that the gdp growth will be at 2 and a half percent uh on an average between 2 and a half 3 percent which is a 3 percent drop uh from where it was uh, projected earlier which was five and a half to six so we all know that you know there is some kind of a link between ad adx and ad industry growth and gdp growth so you know that it's going to come down uh you know uh perhaps by one and a half to two x of that so so it's too early to say uh, but yes will there be an impact there will definitely be an impact uh, we'll just have to see how to uh, minimize it and uh, and plan it and yeah that's that's what we all are depending on you people for <laughs> that you will ensure that the impact is minimized so thank you so much for talking to exchange for media and uh, be at home and be safe thank you sir thank thanks you. a lot thank you very much bye bye